figured I'd been betrayed by my managers, I'd been given things in my water, the road for loose. I had all the kind of excuses that filled me with hatred and revenge. I felt like I'd lost everything, not just the championship of the world, but I'd lost myself as a man. Foreman attempted a comeback, but that ended in 1977. I fought Jimmy Young in Puerto Rico in March of 77. After the decision, Jimmy Young is the winner. I couldn't believe that. I went back to the dress room. You know, as I was walking back and forth to cool off, I started thinking. Who cares about a stinking boxing match when I got money, I got cars? I said, I could, re I could retire now and die. Die. Couldn't fight it. It just started to dominate my conversation. I realized I was about to die in a dirty old dress room with all those homes I had. Right within my thoughts, I heard, the, I heard a voice say, Do you believe in God? Why are you scared to die? So I tried to make a deal with the voice. I said, I'm still George Foreman. I can box and give money to charity and to cancer. And the voice answered me right back. I don't want your money, I want you. And I remember tears coming down because I knew that was it. My leg gave out of me. And I said, y'all on fixing it before I could say another. I died. I was gone. Within a split second, over my head, under my feet was just nothing. I looked behind me and I seen it. I saw everything I'd ever worked for crumble, like burn a piece of paper and it stands and touch it and crumble. I was dead, smelly old death. I had this horrible smell that goes along with it. I just got mad. So I don't care if this is death, I still believe that for God. I just didn't believe in religion. When I said that a gigantic hand just reached in, nothing, hopelessness, no more, and pulled me out. And I was alive in that dress room with Evidently, they had picked me up off the floor, and I saw blood coming down my forehead. And I hadn't been cut from the boxing match, but I saw it. My masseur, Mr. Fuller, I said, move your hand, he's bleeding where they crucified him. And I started screaming, Jesus Christ was coming alive in me. And I fought eight men to get in the shower and start screaming, I'm clean, born again, hallelujah. They strapped me down there in an ambulance. Uh, and I said, you just witnessed a miracle and you won't believe it. When they rushed me to intensive care, I lost a boxing match. I was where I wanted to be in life, and I've been telling that story since.